Hi, this is David Kino with MicroQuant, and this is the free video for Tuesday, July 7th, 2015. So I'm starting out here with the NASDAQ on a five minute uh, chart. Uh, this is the futures, but basically what happened today was an exact mirror opposite of what happened yesterday. Now, yesterday, if we can move over here, so you can see the price action in yesterday's trading, you can see that uh, we easily made a very strong move from the beginning of the day at the bottom to the high of the day at the top, right around 10.50 or 10.47 was actual time. We started to pull back and made a 50% retracement from the low to the high exactly 50% retracement by 1135 that morning now we consolidated and moved lower to the point where we almost made a 100% retracement now if we look at the trading from today you can see that it was almost the exact opposite the move was from the high high of the open to the low roughly roughly about 1140 uh, the first low was 1045 started to make a retracement came back down made a low at 1140 and here roughly 1250 we made a 50 percent retracement in the trade actually pushing higher into the 618 retracement but it, both days started out with a directional trade today it was to the downside down about two percent in the nasdaq yesterday it was to the upside but once we finished the momentum move we made a turnaround and made a quick 50% to 618 retracement. It pays to look at a slightly higher time frame and compartmentalize the move in, a, in the market on the basis of what's going on this morning. What is the major move this morning? And then look for a potential reversal. I would say four out of five days that the markets make a consistent move, either higher or lower, you get some sort of reasonable move either retracement back to 38.2 or 50% or 618%. Very consistent type of trading. You just need to be a little patient and you can go ahead and take advantage of these kind of moves. Okay?